Where did the idea for the Adventures on Train series come from? Well, it started in here, in my head. A few years ago, when my sons were little, they loved trains. We used to watch the London trains coming in and out of Brighton Station. They constructed Brio train tracks around the living room, complex Lego railways in their bedrooms, and graduated to Hornby trains as they got older. They enjoyed watching Thomas the Tank Engine and Chuggingtons on the TV. And together, we read all of the books. When they got to year three or four, when you're old enough to start reading and choosing your own chapter books, they looked for books about trains and couldn't find the kinds of stories they wanted to read. There were books about troll trains powered by magic glitter and driven by unicorns, but they wanted real trains. Details about locomotives, the mechanics of railways, interesting routes and contemporary adventures set now with characters that they could relate to. I was frustrated that I couldn't find the kind of books they wanted to read and I thought somebody somebody should write a series of adventures on trains. But I didn't think I was qualified to do it because I didn't know much about trains. So the idea sat at the back of my brain gathering dust. It's thanks to a very special person that the idea got dusted off and turned into the books you are reading. And that person is Sam Sedgman. Sam and I used to work together at the National Theatre. That's a theatre on the banks of the Thames in London. He and I had desks next to one another and behind our computers on the wall we would stick posters and pictures of things that we liked. On his bit of the wall Sam had stuck railway maps and I knew he liked trains. After my first book, Beetle Boy, was published Sam asked me what I was going to write after the Beetle trilogy. And I took a look at those railway maps and my adventures on trains idea popped into my head. I told him all about it. I was really excited when Maya said that she was thinking of writing something about trains. Because I've always loved trains. When I was little, there was a railway line that ran down the bottom of our garden. And whenever I would hear a train coming, I would run down the grass and jump up onto the compost heap to wave at the driver as they went past. You must always wave at train drivers, because sometimes they sound the horn or blow the whistle. I never really stopped liking trains. I even wrote my master's thesis about abandoned stations on the London Underground. And a few years ago, I even got to ride on the footplate of a real steam engine. But the other thing that I really liked when I was growing up were detective stories. I would read every kind of murder mystery that I could find. I'd even make up my own. And at Christmas time, I made my whole family dress up as different characters from Cluedo, hunting around the house to solve puzzles and find clues to solve a made-up murder mystery. I thought that mystery stories would be the perfect plots to put on a series of books set on trains, because trains are the perfect place to set a detective story. The passengers are all suspects, the crime has to be committed on board, and the mystery has to be solved before the train reaches its destination. Plus, every train journey is different, so there can always be plenty of variety between the stories. I stopped him and said, why don't we write these books together? And thank goodness he said yes. 